I said what I said because it's my job to say what I said about the New York Giants, but that doesn't mean, operative word being, my job to say this about the New York Giants, but that doesn't mean that I'm not a supporter of an organization that was part of my family for years. John Tish is still a great friend of mine. John Mara, uh, quite frankly, called me in after the season and asked my advice about this team. And so uh, people think that I'm this giant hater, and I'm not. That's Tiki on his radio show, The Barber Shop. Welcome back to Daily News Live. Uh, we've got a new guest here with us, Lori Rubinson from the uh, from WFAN. Welcome, Lori. Thanks. I'm happy to be here. Uh, all right. We're talking about uh, Tiki Barber and him not being a giant hater. He goes on his radio show uh, and, and says a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, he was not rooting for Tampa Bay. He was there just to watch his brother uh, rooting for um, the Giants, essentially. Could this team have made this run with him? Because that, that's the big question a lot of people are asking now this first year. After the way the I look at it is this. Uh, in the game against Washington, remember when he had the 200-plus yards mm -hmm. and got him into the playoffs? Flash that's me. who he really is. All this other stuff is sideshow tiki. It's the serious show and the Today Show. When I see him cooking breakfast on the Today Show, <laughs> believe me, he's not a football player anymore. I think people should get over the tiki factor. His opinion means nothing about the New yeah. York Giants anymore. Hey, but you know what? When you hear that, you have to realize that tiki's lying. And he's either lying to himself or he's lying to us. Because, I mean, if any one of you guys got booted off of a show that you were on, or let's say left, purposely left, and the show did better ratings without you, is anybody happy? I mean, genuinely happy, because I'm not. And to have worked as hard as he worked in a Giants uniform, only to leave and see the team yeah. in the following year. He, he retired. He, he walked retired. away Fine. from the game. Fine. No he one walked away, but he has to look at it and say, geez, it would be nice to be a part of that. Seeing Strahan celebrate the way he was celebrating Amani, Amani Tumor, he guys that he played with for so the, many and years. And they're better without him as a team. You, you gave a great example, is which is because, actually, you gave the perfect example. He runs for 200 yards, and what happens? Everybody else says, Tiki's going to carry us there. When he He's not there. Eleven other guys step up and say, "I got to do more because Tiki's not here." They're a better. They're, he's he was the best player on the team last year. They're a better team. Yeah, I agree without with that. you wouldn't have the development of Jacobs. You wouldn't have the development of Bradshaw. You wouldn't have the development of Derek Ward before he got hurt. You wouldn't, you have, wouldn't have any of that. You wouldn't have the development of Eli Manning. Well, Manning, maybe not. Maybe last not. year with like the axis of evil. Yeah, you know, in terms of the toxicity of that locker room, when you had it's a big word, toxicity. <laughs> Well, you know. But especially for That's this great band. <laughs> you know, I'm going to write that down. The city of the city. What, what? Come on, huh? Yeah. Oh,